Today, we get to use all kinds of materials to make some small but capable finger puppets. You can use one of the patterns provided, or a blank outline, or draw and color everything yourself. We start building the puppet by cutting out and assembling these shapes. We wrap this piece around itself and glue it together to form a body that can be used as a puppet. And then a similar process for a head and arms and anything else you want for your puppet to do. At this point, our puppets are still in the inactive stage, and you may want to add unique features and details to make them all your own. But even after you finish decorating, these puppets are nothing without your help and involvement. On their own, they are flimsy and flattenable, but with the support of your fingers, they become active and able to do whatever it is you've made them for. There's a story in the Bible about Jesus' friends who were not active but paralyzed by fear. They were all out on a boat during a very scary storm. As the wind howled and the waves crashed and the boat swayed from side to side, everyone on board was terrified, except for Jesus, who was sound asleep. In the end, it wasn't the rocky boat that disturbed Jesus, but the terrified disciples who shook him awake. Save us, they cried in panic. But Jesus wasn't afraid. He was calm. And soon he made the wind and the waves calm, too. Even as storms and fears surrounded them, Jesus had a calm, quiet trust in God. The kind of calm trust that comforts and supports us and sets us to work, even in some scary situations. As we worship today, I wonder what kind of unique puppets you'll choose to make, and what unique ways you'll use them. I wonder also about the unique ways God is comforting us and supporting us even in the difficult and frightful places.